This is only the beginning. I'm here to break the game. What is up and welcome back, it's Govus again bringing you another Apex Legends video today. And I wanted to bring you this video as quickly as possible, I did play for a little bit, dropped a couple wins, but the Winter Express is now in the game. So as you can see by the footage in the background, I will be scrolling through the entire Holiday Bash event store and every item included in it, that way you can get an idea of what you want to go for, if anything. And in the Hollow Day store, we do see some exciting things like the Pathfinder Boxing Gloves Heirloom. Now we knew this was coming, but it's really nice to see it actually in the game. And just like the other Collection Day events, we will need to unlock all 24 items, 12 of which are going to be epic, and the other 12 will be legendary. So after getting all items, we will now have free access to the Heirloom set for Pathfinder unlocking those gloves for yourself. So along with the Hollow Day Bash store and the Winter Express game mode, which I'll be showing some gameplay in just a moment, we will be seeing the addition of five free challenges for anyone to complete. The first one's going to be a tiered challenge, so the first of three tiers is going to be Capture the Winter Express 15 times, so I already have seven captures towards that challenge. The second challenge is going to be get a top 10 finish five times, and that's going to unlock this loading screen. The third challenge will be get a kill with six different legends, unlocking this Candy Cane weapon charm. Fourth challenge will be deal 20,000 damage in play Apex or ranked. So any of the normal Apex modes, whether it's ranked or not, 20,000 damage total will unlock this uh, L-Star skin for you. And starting a party at Mirage Voyage will allow us to unlock this G7 Scout skin. So the Winter Express game mode, let's just go ahead and jump into these details and basically right off the bat you're going to notice that each legend comes fully geared with a different loadout and this loadout does change day by day. So every legend will start with a primary weapon, secondary weapon, armor, backpack, helmet, knockdown shield, then you get a shield cell, a syringe, and two equipment like a throwable ordnance. So you either get thermite, grenades, or arc stars during this. Now a quick note here, something that I would want everyone to know before jumping into this game mode, these syringes and shield cells can be used as many times as you'd like. So in the background will be my gameplay of my very first Winter Express game mode. It took a few seconds to get used to how things work in this game mode, but essentially think of it as a moving king of the hill. You can contest the hill when other people are trying to cap it, and you do not necessarily need to be in the middle cart to contest the point altogether. You can be in the front or back cart, and the train itself is going to be made up of the three separate carts. The front and back are going to be enclosed, and the middle one is going to be wide open. So definitely don't go into the middle unless you absolutely have to. A good idea for this whole game mode is going to be taking the high ground. If you're not the team that's already on the train, grab that high ground, fight off the other team, kill them, and then focus the people on the train. Or just try to third party, take the train, and cap it for yourself. After you cap it, if you have any dead teammates, say you're the last one alive. Your other two teammates should instantly respawn after capping the train and when everyone else is dead. And the respawns happen in waves. So all enemies, including yourself if you're dead, will spawn at the same exact time and you will see a yellow triangle that will indicate where the next capture point will take place. Now you cannot capture the objective right away. There is a grace period which allows the train to come to a complete stop, everyone to spawn in, get sort of situated, and then you'll see the countdown on the left hand side of the screen letting you know when you can actually go for the objective. Now once the objective is active, you will fight off the other team like I mentioned, and as long as no one's on it, it takes about, we'll say five to eight seconds in that general area to actually capture the train. Once it's captured, it will then move to the next point, and then you just rinse and repeat from there on out. So as you can see from the background, I gained 49,838 XP from one game. We won that game, and that challenge completed you see there is not factored into that 49,000. I gained that almost every single time between like 45 and 50,000 XP from each and every game. And this screenshot here, I only got one kill. So there's plenty of room for improvement, especially considering each battle pass level is only 54,000 to level up. So if your battle pass is not maxed out, you should definitely take advantage of this while this game mode is still here. 
And that will wrap up the video for today. If you enjoy my content and you want to see more, the subscribe button is just one easy click away. It really does help me out a lot more than you think. If you enjoy the video, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. If you didn't enjoy it, you're more than welcome to also click that thumbs down. Either way, I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this new game mode, the Pathfinder heirloom, and all the stuff in the store in the comment section down below. Whether you did or didn't click any of those things I suggested, then I still hope you have a good evening, afternoon, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are, but thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos.